This spring, I went to the highlands of Chiapas to try to understand why there is such a bad problem with tuberculosis here. What I found in this lush, mountainous region were strikingly high levels of social marginalization, poverty, and dysfunctional government services. TB is a disease of poverty, and here that mostly means indigenous populations. In the village of Los Choros, I found Marcela Gomez, who was treated for TB, but not given any medication or screening for her children. Her two boys, Fidencio and Jose, developed growths on their necks and faces. They are okay now. The nearly one million indigenous people here make an average of one third of what the rest of the population does. Most people work in the fields. In the towns and villages, small children can be seen begging at all hours of the day and night. This poverty affects every aspect of people's lives, including their health. Malnutrition is a big problem and signs for junk food are everywhere. People also rely on village healers because their access to clinics is limited by money, distance, and language. While in the mountains, our car broke down in a Zapatista encampment. The Zapatistas were an indigenous movement that rose up in 1994 to protest against their poor living conditions. They are still around and have several autonomous communities like this one. I tried to get inside to look around, but the guard wasn't in the mood. So we hitchhiked back to San Cristobal in a Coca-Cola truck, as it turned out.